All right. Hello, guys. Welcome to another reaction video. Once again, this time we are reacting to Mad Rose. This time, a video called Stupidest Reasons People Have Called 911 slash 999. I thought this could be quite interesting considering how dumb some people are. Um, as always, link in the description to the original video. Show him some love. Subscribe to his channel, like his videos, and let's get going. 911 slash 999 dispatch. What's the dumbest reason someone's called? I had someone call in 911. Yeah, I've put three stools out on the curb for people to take for free, and um, but someone only took two. What? How? How does, why do you think you would have to call the police for that? Like, what is the police supposed to do about this? Like, I'm kind of curious. Like, maybe we have a certain viewer, a single viewer in the comments, I don't know, that is, like, working for the police or something like this. Um, may, do you know if you could actually get punished for something like that? Like, if you call and take on, like, because they have, like, these emergency lines and the non-emergency lines, I think. If you call on so, on an emergency line for police or, like, ambulance or something like that, and you say something ridiculously stupid like this, that should never, that it's not even, it has nothing to do with them, can you even get punished? Because I feel like some of these people should definitely be fine for this shit. Someone called 911 wants to ask what time the Super Bowl started. I Bro. Imagine not being able how to use Google. I need someone to help me take the lasagna out of the oven. I have no mitts. I've responded to the same guy's house Dude. twice to find his phone charge. 6.30, Christmas morning, 911 goes off. What 911, fuck? what's your emergency? <sighs> oh, God. <sighs> how, how, how do I get the cranberry sauce out of the can without it coming out in chunks? A lady called saying she had a prim... This sounds... Like, th these stories, they sound so made up. What the fuck? Like, I think people who work in retail would be able to confirm if people are actually that stupid, but, like, it just seems almost unnatural how these people can be so dumb. Munition of a murder. Some guy called 911 because he's. Wait, wait, wait. I, I missed that. I missed that. Go back. A lady called saying she had a premonition of a murder. Huh. I'm kind of curious. If someone calls the police and say they have a premonition of a murder or, a, or they they think that a murder could take place soon what do you have to do as the police do you have to take her serious do you ignore her or i think this is like one of those situations where there's no right or wrong as if they just say, I think there could be a murder here and there. You can't really use this as use that as facts, right? You don't really You can't really confirm that or use that as proper solid evidence for anything. But at the same time, if you completely disregard her and ignore her because you don't have any kind of evidence, so why should we believe you? And it does happen, you kinda of fucked up of a murder. Some guy called 911 because he spent a million dollars on his house and seagulls kept shitting on his car. Someone called Yo, what the fuck are the police supposed to do? to report that their car had been spray painted yellow. The yellow spray paint was pollen from a pine tree. Yeah. Okay, I, I read the first sentence. I was like, that should be a valid reason if some stranger paints your car yellow. But if it's pollen, then you're just a moron. A deer just swam across the river behind my house. Okay. Well, I'm worried it might be cold. Well, there's nothing we could. Wait. It might be cold. You, you mean the deer, right? 
could do about a deer what? being cold. Fried chicken was. Bro, it's a grown ass deer. If it survived for this long, I'm sure it can handle a little bit of cold. What the fuck? It's too dry. Ghost in the attic. Possible smoke in the house. Turns out the caller was crying, which made things blurry, so they, they thought it was smoke. What's today's date? What time is it? Jesus. My phone only calls 911. Can you transfer me to my mum? My neighbour threw pickle juice on my phone only calls 911. Can you transfer me to my mum? What? Do you not have a SIM card in your phone or something? My dog, pickle juice. Yeah, he wanted officers to come smell his dog. Face with rolling eyes emoji. Nothing will ever top this. Florida man calls 911 to brag about his big muscles. Had I mean, it's... It's Florida, man. It doesn't surprise me. There's a lady trying to call an ambulance because she opened a package from Amazon at home and she was afraid that her kid was about to have a major allergic reaction from the packing peanuts because the kid was allergic to peanuts. I had a very I mean, this is probably one of the more mild ones here. It's still ridiculously stupid. But in this case, I think the woman was just being extra, extra, ultra, ultra cautious for a kid. I think out of all the ones we've seen so far, this is probably the least questionable. Angry mother call one morning because her six-year-old son had climbed up on the roof and she couldn't get him to come down. Turns out she wasn't worried about him falling off the roof. She was worried because the last time he was up there, he'd peed in the air vents. The What is up with your kids, guys? What are you teaching them? The church near my house keeps changing their sign. My husband just called me a turd. What? Their sign? And how is that supposed to be... Ed. How is that supposed to be illegal? Like, we're not even two minutes into the video and my head is already starting to hurt. What are these people? I'm arrested. Can you send the police back here? Why? That last cop was hot and I want his number. I think for shit like this, you should be allowed to be fined. Like, okay, I'm. I think I'm. I'm gonna. Um, let me take my face cam off here, so you can see everything. And now I also probably have my thumbnail for the next video for this video. But like, if you're doing shit like this and you're blocking like an emergency call line from the police. Or something like this, you should be in a lot of trouble. It's like imagine someone is actually in an accident and needs the help, and you're blocking this line because of something insignificantly stupid like this. You should be charged. You should be fined for sure. Cop was hot and I want his number. A lady called and had a strong Russian accent. She said there was a dead girl in her bed and she was hysterical. When everyone got there, it was a, a dead squirrel. Woman calls police after disco- That's a lot less problematic. Discovering human remains only to find not a toe, but a potato. Okay. I mean, okay. I I can see what you would why she would think that, but to call the police without knowing if it's actually the case or not. Got a call from a woman who said that she was in her car and saw what she thinks might be a rabid black dog. She said it was walking around in circles on the boulevard and kept running into the telephone pole, then turning around and going another direction. As I'm getting the information from her and sending the call out, she says something to the effect of, Way, is that? It wasn't a dog at all, but one of those robot lawnmower Roombas. One time, a woman reported oh either my a God. fox or a werewolf standing on a street corner. We have a local call us once a week or so saying he was attacked by Bigfoot. If he's not calling after once a week. Once a week. 
What the fuck? Attack. He's calling because he went out in the woods to try and locate Bigfoot's den and ended up getting lost. The caller complaint was that the sun's Jesus. too bright, the moon's too big, the ocean's too loud. I had someone a few months. The the fucking ocean was too loud. What the fuck is the police supposed to do about this? Like, what is the thought process behind this? Like, why do some... I guess, say, you are this kind of moron and you call the police. Like, what do you expect them to do about this? I mean, they can't just go and tell the ocean to shut its mouth, to shush and be quiet, because this random fucking person here is bothered by it. If you're that sensitive about noise, if it bothers you that much, just wear headphones or something. Like, what is wrong with you? It's too loud. I had someone a few months ago call 911 to ask if a tablespoon was the big spoon or the little one. Older lady. Again, just use Google. What the panic, fuck? Nearly in tears. Worried. I'll tell you what, let me act this call out. Try and guess what's happened. <laughs> My husband. I, I think <laughs> he's... <laughs> He's gonna have a heart attack. Okay, that sounds serious. <laughs> Look at stop it. that! Don't you stop strutting around. You are going to have a heart attack. Let's sit bet down. You think the old buck still had it. Hey, did you guess? Wait. She had slipped her husband a Viagra without telling him, and he had the longest erection either of them could remember. So Why she gave him a Viagra without his knowledge and then called the police because, or the ambulance because he got an erection out of it. What? Someone dialed 911 to request a mugshot of her to be removed from the internet. She got charged for misuse of 911 and had a new mugshot. A woman in her 60s. Oh my god, oh my god. Called the police because she was watching a live WWE show where two wrestlers, Triple H and Stone Cold Steve Austin, were beating up The Rock. She later said she knows it's all just a what? show, but thought those two had genuinely decided to attack The Rock. My caller... Hey, you know you did a good job. You did a good wrestling match if the people call the fucking police because they think it's for real. I mean, as a wrestler, I think I would take this as a compliment. ...reported her car stolen. When I asked her when she saw her car for the last time, she replied, I don't know, about 30 years ago? Man called... I think that's a little bit too late, don't you think? up audibly distressed i can't fart someone called because there was a tiny frog on their porch and they were afraid of it totally valid had a concerned citizen call about a loud party she said she yelled over to tell them to turn it down the lady said that when she did yep. she heard over the loudspeaker um turn down for what she thought that was extremely rude and wanted officers to respond turns out it was oh Wait, let me put my face cam away so you can see the whole thing. But I think you can probably imagine what it was. Wasn't the neighbor, but turned oh, down no. for what? By Lil John being rude to her. Lady called what to complain a triple thick milkshake from McDonald's wasn't thick enough. City employee was upset because she bought a chocolate bar from a gas station, put it in her pocket, and walked to work in a hundred degree heat. It melted in the gas station, refused to refund her. Can you come wake my 14 year old son up and make him go to school? No. Not a dis. <laughs> The simple no. And can you wake my son up and make him go to school? Bro, who is the parent? It's you. It's your fucking responsibility. This is why some people should not be parents. Like, what the fuck? If you can't even get your child to go up to school, like, what are you doing? What are you doing, bro? Not a dispatcher, but I saw on the local news a couple of years ago that someone called the police because someone stole their snowman. Let me guess. Let me guess. It fucking melted. Right? Yeah. 
I need the police, please. OK, what's happening? Well, I went out about five minutes ago to have a fag, and he's gone. Who's gone, sorry? My snowman. Was she told to let it go? Oh, come on. Oh, of course, of course, we were going to hit F stuff. So it stroke like that. Of course. Oh, boy. Nice little Coke Zero sip right here. Um, so it wasn't melted. They just stole it or something. Like, I'm pretty sure it melted. Like, who the fuck steals a snowman? That is just phenomenal work. My brother is an officer working 911 as a rookie. Actually, I think it's easier if I draw this one for you. Had a call about an elderly jumper at an apartment building, was in a fight with a wife, decided to jump off the balcony. Okay. That's a little bit drastic. He responds, meets the woman crying in the lobby. She leads him to her apartment, except it's on the first floor. Not even that. Turns out oh. the fucker jumped off the balcony and landed in a snowdrift about six feet down and was swearing up a storm. I asked my roommate to do the dishes. She well, that went from zero to a hundred, back to zero very quickly. He called 911 because I was being passive aggressive. Guy called 911 very angry, demanding to know why he didn't have power when a car just drove by with its lights on. Oh. Yo, what the fuck? That is crazy. How do these people function in a normal day-to-day -day basis? Like, how do these people even breathe on their own without needing to be reminded of it? Like, if your IQ is like below room temperature level, in Celsius, might I add, that's not good. Like, what the fuck? You need police fire or medical. No, no, I'm calling a report. There's uh, no emergency. <laughs> that was a prank call, right? Well, I guess I'll go fuck myself. Then. <laughs> like that that has to be a prank call. Especially if it's was if it was like a young child or something. That was probably a prank call. Like, no one is so fucking dumb and deranged that they would just call the police and tell them, no, there is no emergency. Like, what? Like, the whole video we're re I'm recording is like 18 minutes now. And we have like less than six minutes of the video done. That is crazy. Like, then, so, a girl so many, in college called so much crazy stuff. Cops because she got a bad manicure and then posted about it on Facebook. To Take your boys list somewhere else. When I was in the MT, I got dispatched to pediatric oral burn. We okay. Called ass, thinking this kid drank drain cleaner or boiling hot water and couldn't breathe or something. We got Jesus. there to discover the kid ate too many hot Cheetos. Analog expressionless face emoji. A woman who thought. Come on. I mean, this is probably. Better than the alternative of him having actually drank that, drank that shit. But like, who comes to the hospital because they ate too many hot Cheetos? Her boyfriend had actually literally broken her heart in two pieces by breaking up with her. Help How? How are people this dumb? Help me, I've got dandruff. I think my brain is falling out. Paramedic here, does this count? Chief complaint, uh, play too much Xbox. And yeah, now saw 19 year old male, conscious and breathing, thank 19 year old male. I'm gonna have a little guess. I'm gonna say your hand is sore for a different reason. That's just my take on it. <clears throat> 
God. Can we get a, a skull emoji in the chat for this brave warrior, please? Once we had a young woman called 911 around 2am saying that her legs were turning blue. Turns out she'd worn a new pair of jeans to the club that night. Yeah, I'm oh currently in my nursing God. school that did that fundamentals class. The book specifically said that if a patient's palms are blue, you should ask if they're wearing new jeans. Apparently this is fairly common. A How? How is this common? Oh. Michael freaked out about his penis shrinking after sex. Got a call for chest pains. A patient gave a really generic story. I got to the hospital and when the triage nurse asked what was wrong, I start telling her about the patient's pain. The patient cut me off to explain well, she wasn't having chest pains. What? She just wanted a ride to the hospital because she liked the socks she got in the emergency room last time she was there. Oh like my. Well, look oh my God. Like I said, punishment. Bro, go to jail. Go fuck yourself. What the hell? Look, here's the link. You just buy him if you want. Oh. No, bro. I'm just going to call the ambulance and take up a spot in the hospital because I want fucking socks. I'll be honest. These are pretty dope. Lady called 911 to... <laughs> but you can still just buy him online. Like, what the... To ask if vegetable oil was poisonous. Had a guy called... I mean, I guess if you just drink the whole bottle in a sitting, it could maybe be. But why would you ask such a question? Like, if they're selling it in the supermarket, it's probably not poisonous. Because he dyed his pubes and was having an allergic reaction. 911, do you need police fire or ambulance? I don't know. Oh, okay, what's going on? I've entered my password into my phone a few times and it won't unlock. Oh my god. I am so glad I don't have to deal with these kinds of people in my job. Oh my god. I think I would just lose it if people like that called me and said shit like this. Like, what the... How do you function as a person on a your own? A curious case here where the Red dumb. House has gone back and edited their original post to just cuss, 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 cuss. I need to know what happened to this person. Oh, well, you see, they cuss, cuss, cuss. How big of a hairbrush are we talking? Cuz, 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 cuz. Which was quoted from with I saw the x-rays and described it to me in medical terms as an actual fucking hairbrush. Well, it's because I was pissed off. I know I've used this reaction clip in videos before, but... What the hell happened here? Honestly, I'm not sure if I want to know. Like, I have a slight idea of what it could be or what happened. But I don't think I want to know, if I'm being completely honest. I had a drunk person call to report he was being harassed. Truth was, he was being arrested by our officers for throwing pizza at people. Boy, have I got... You're being harassed while you're throwing pizza at other people? Bro. The reaction clip for this. Crazy. A guy called 911 because someone stole his meth and he wanted to. Oh, Please no. Please come out, take a report, and find his meth. And find his fucking meth. You know what? It's probably good that he called because now he gets the punishment he deserves for being such a fucking moron. But that's crazy. Uh, well, I think I've got a good reaction clip for this, too. If a caller starts to call with, I swear I'm not crazy, then you need to buckle up. A guy tripping yeah, bulls started to call with those words and swore that his roommates were turning into giant crabs. They had a guy one time calling. Wait. So, so how does the story continue? You can't just cut us off like that. It was probably on drugs, let's be real, but. I would like. I would like to have like a conclusion to that story. Dreaming that the devil's not leaving my soup. Sylvester Stallone lives in my paws. Oh, I enough druggies. What's the funniest thing a kid's called in? I had a little boy called Crumb. Like, 
if something like this happens, and they say shit like that, you just immediately just write down, okay, drug addict, get him out of here, or what do you do? How do you proceed? after school i'll never forget his exact quote mrs parsons stole my glitter water my cousin called 911 because ghosts were coming out of the pool it was just fog my best friend in college said that some girl in her class hated petrie from land before time what how can you hate him i'm and called 911 to Out of all the characters in this show, why do you hate him? Just like, ha have them get rid of Petrie, I guess. When, when I was what? a kid, I called 911 and yelled, Yeah! CBN! Yeah! get beast! After the. Okay, I was about to say. Let's hope the clip doesn't go further. I don't want to get any copyright issues. The third or fourth time, they sent a police officer to the house and he gave me a stern talking to. Oh. Yeah, as you deserve. What the well, fuck? I was a 911 operator and one time a young child called in and the first they said when I picked up the phone was, Help! I shitted and farted. Not an operator, but when my... Straight to the point, at least. My brother was two. He called 911 because I was crawling on the ping pong table and mum didn't allow that. When I was three years old, my dad said I could do anything I wanted for my birthday. I took it literally and called 911. Oh no. Oh no. I called 911 when I was maybe four or five because my mum was taking too long to make spaghetti. My Those are the real problems we need 911 for, right? My son wondered what the SOS button near the sunroof in my BMW. Yeah, I, I can see that happening, honestly, with kids. What you did while I was grabbing something in the supermarket. I came back as he was trying to explain his button pushing mistake to the emergency operator. Oh, I can just picture that. How old is he? He's 35. You know, I was going to be like, if it's a little kid, you know, you, you, you can't really blame him. Kids are curious. They do stupid sh sh shit like this. It happens. Also, the officers would probably be like, okay, it was an honest mistake, but don't do that again, kid, okay? But if he's 35, what? Not a 911 operator, but my dog dialed 911 the other night. What? Wait, 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 wait. Your dog? How did your dog manage to dial 911? Are you sure you actually have a dog and not just a human being dressed up as what? Your dog? How. How did your dog call 911? What? And an officer showed up and asked if everything was alright because of the strange breathing sounds the operator heard. Hey, some of these stupid oh. calls. And if he did call, how did you guys find out? They're, they're quite cute. A male rang 999 on a night shift and said he wanted to press charges against himself for punching himself in the face. Advice. What? We absolutely won't be sending officers and asked well, why he's doing this. <sighs> he had met a female on a night out. She ended up getting arrested for drunken disorderly and he wanted to get arrested so he could go to custody and be closer to this female. Bro. What? Bro reached like a new level of simp. What the hell? That is true love. Nah, 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 nah. Don't, don't, don't give him the benefit of the doubt. What the fuck? Wow. A 10 minute video and the whole recording took like half an hour. Because I paused so many times. 
so many absurd stories about people just being morons. I'm glad I don't have to deal with people like that in my job. Like, that's crazy. Wow. I'm still thinking about a couple of them. Like, I think I, I found my one for the thumbnail. That's crazy. That's crazy. I don't understand how people cannot have this kind of common sense to just use their brain and think. But yeah, crazy. All right. Um, yeah, anyway, that's going to be it for this one. Um, like I said, link to the original video is in the description. Show him some love. He makes really good content. If you have a video you want me to watch or react to, let me know in the comments. And thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next time, the next video, I hope. Bye.